cold as balls out there. Yeah, we got a problem. What's up? Huh, what's wrong? Still frozen. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's not... It takes us about an hour to get drunk anyway. Word. Alright. Let's get some drinks going. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Um. And what are we drinking tonight? Um. Exactly. Scotch whiskey blend <laughs> with Coke. The surname. Nothing but the finest. Evan Williams. <laughs> it's like a step sideways. It's like a step down from. <laughs> it's like a step down from uh, Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels happens to be my favorite whiskey. This is second best, but still not bad. It's a close second. Mm -hmm. It's quite tasty, and it's like $10 cheaper for this bottle. Tonight, we're thinking about what we're gonna make. All right, what is the most drunk meal that you're gonna want in your life? Fruity Loops, that's right. But second best is definitely meatballs. Just Fruity Loops, not Fruity Pebbles. It depends. I mean, depends Fruity on. Fruity pebbles are pretty sweet, dude. What type of what color do you <laughs> want your sweet. milk at the end? Because <laughs> cocoa pebbles is my shit. Here, try to like. Yes. That was slick. Oh damn <laughs> it! <laughs> that was. Uh -huh. Anywho, so you're doing one part uh, ground beef. To one part uh, ground pork. You could add veal in there. We're not rich. Fuck off. Hence the Evan Williams, hence the dry herbs that we use because. Where did those go? I don't know. Oh, I got them right here. See? But in all seriousness, I use the real herbs on Cooking Channel. These are alright. It's not really a big deal. You don't want to be keeping herbs around your house all day. You're not kirking every day, man. I'm ordering pizza. Fuck off. <laughs> Devin Williams and Coke. They're so tasty. Alright, when you're dicing onions, this is key. This is actually pretty cool, I think. I mean, this took me years of What's this cooking. under knife? Uh, what it looks it? like butter. That looks like butter. I would clean it off, but I like leaving a mystery. Oh my god, you know how hard this is while drinking? Oh my god. <laughs> Don't cut off your fucking hands, please. For my sake. We are we're actually probably should start a... Uh, what's the thing at the beginning of Jackass that they Disclaimer? Had? A disclaimer. I already said that. Frankly, don't do this. No, oh, that's supposed to be a surprise for later. I don't fucking know what I'm pointing at. It's not on the field of view. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take. I will. Don't throw it up in there. Let me hit it. No, I'm just gonna. <laughs> You'll take off my hand. Yeah, this no time. shit. That's we got lucky. All right, we got lucky. No, I know what I'm doing. That's what I'm, I know why. <laughs> All right. That's what you want to do, right across. Leave yourself something for it to hold together. Don't fucking cut it in half like I just did. Alright, and then right down the sides, make a nice rough chop. You got these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's going to be the gooch later. I just run it right through again because I'm drunk and I probably didn't make a nice enough chop before. 
If you have a knife, <laughs> always sharpen it. Makes you, yeah. You wanna use mine instead, dude? Do you know how many times? Oh my god. You wanna use my cocko? Where, dude? No, no, you know what? Yeah, what? I got it. Do it. I got it. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> when I worked at the wave. Look at you, dude. You're getting the fucking nasty shit. You don't wanna eat in the fucking onions. What how are you is that fucking tasty? No, it's skin. You know when you gotta order a ham and there's that thick ass brown shit on the edge? You don't wanna eat that. I'm gonna edit this so you look like the douchebag, alright? Dude, right? that's the entire <laughs> last video! <laughs> <laughs> this is your time to shine, come on. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Uh, anywho, pull, story pull time. When I worked at the Wave, they had the most fucking dull ass knives. And, uh,. I was cutting as hard as I could, and it slipped off. It was so dull that it just took a, uh, a layer off and slammed it right down on my thumb. And I looked down. And by that, I mean I looked up. And I was so scared to look down, because I was like, I definitely just cut off my thumb. Like, there's no doubt. And I looked down, and it fucking dented my thumb. And that's when I realized... Dude, you gotta I'm, sharpen your fucking knife. I'm telling you right now, dude, seriously, you should probably do that take again because you're using an actual establishment's name without their permission. I don't give a fuck. And if you get famous and make a billion dollars, but yo, hey, you said my name without my permission. What are they gonna do? They're it's gonna not acknowledged in the credits. I can look, that's my YouTube video. You're that dumb. shit ain't me. You're dumb. That's somebody they made. You that already shit said up. your name, what your name was. I don't give a fuck. I'm my name is John Tabor. I live in Mattapoisey. You're so stupid. Oh shit, mail bomb my house, alright? <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> please don't, I live with you. My girlfriend is now living with my vague threat. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Yeah, guess what, when you're gone working until 9.30 at night, that mail bomb shows up, and she's the one there who picks it up. She picks up our mail. And it's gone. It's because you're jackass. She's no longer with you. Now I'm a swinging bachelor, you can come move in with me. <laughs> I fucking hate you so much! <laughs> Alright! Obviously, you want to throw in an onion or two, depending on the size of your onions and how nasty some of their inner layers might be. Alright. Yeah, right. uh, she got a nice mix in there. Not too I'm going to go with not too much. Not too much, yeah. I'm just going to... You because we have enough moisture going into this because you need to throw olive oil in there. Ketchup kind of has a little sweet flavor. You exactly, it's kind of like a barbecue sauce type of thing. I think that might be a little bit too little, but I agree with you in the fact. I wouldn't that mind if you added a, a little bit more. You put too much fluid in it; it's not going to stick. There you go. Well, that's what the egg is for. A little bit of this sweet guy. He's yeah. he's like my third best friend. Yeah. It's this kid, Jack oh, Daniels. Oh man. Smell that. That's straight onion. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna be crying I'm in like crying. two minutes, you son of a <laughs> I'm already crying. A little bit of Evan Williams. Don't mess. Oh, wait, there don't you mess. go. What's better than regular salt? Kosher. Kosher salt. You, you know your... why? Because it's like regular salt, except bigger. You want the best steak? Just grill a steak with kosher, flip it over. That's really all you need. Your... Salt is any flavor that you want. Just maximized. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. That is looking straight tasty right there. Black pepper. Uh, however, you know, you want to be all professional. How much do you think you actually put? Can you salt to taste, or what are we doing here? You usually want to do salt to taste, but this is obviously raw. So you can't salt the taste. You can't but. salt the taste. I put, uh, like, up to, like, three or four tablespoons for this bunch, but obviously if you're not making this bunch, And this is, what, like, two pounds of meat? Two, it's about two pounds That's of probably meat. two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. Sounds good. Word. Sounds good. Black pepper, you want to put half as much black pepper as you do kosher salt. <clears throat> this little knob here, it actually, believe it or not, twists, and that not only... Unscrew so you can refill this, but depicts how fine or large your pepper flakes are. We don't use this. fresh herbs because that's, I mean that that's expensive. I mean especially if you're in college, you know you just want to make something that tastes good. Christmas tree shop. Yeah, word, but that's like from 14 years ago. So <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, awesome. I got this as a Christmas gift. So. 
If you can sneak it, I, like, I'm not gonna knock you for getting shit at Christmas Tree Shop. Because I have picked up, like, dollar things of black pepper. I don't use it on the norm, but, I mean, if you can, just do it. Well, see what happens when the spice gets old? Its flavor goes. So what you yeah. do? Add more. Three times more. Whatever, dude. You paid a dollar for it. Who the fuck cares?